So the MA Science program allows people who have an interest in medicine, health, science, sort of any aspect of science and society to really go deep, to really develop um, nuanced thinking and contextual thinking and historical thinking about uh, covering those different fields. And it really, um, it really trains you to see stories in a different way, in a, in a deeper way. We aim to help people get deeper into the sciences themselves, but also into the special challenges of telling those stories well, telling them with depth and with accuracy and with flair. The sort of ideal MA student, um, they take a bunch of different forms. Sometimes it's a person who has been reporting in the field for a while and who really wants to come back and do it in a deeper way and to sort of really push their understanding of these different realms to understand more about the culture of science um, and to really work on their writing, on their narrative skills. Uh, sometimes it's uh, somebody who has been working in a completely different beat and really wants to break into science and um, environment covering climate um, and sometimes it's a person who just has this incredible curiosity and passion about covering these realms but hasn't done it yet um, and those those people are kind of more exceptional usually uh, we have people who are more experienced they have at least five years of experience but every now and then there's someone who has this incredible curiosity and passion and they also are right for the program what you don't absolutely have to have for the program is a background in science. I think uh, a feeling for it is probably more important than anything else. You have to really be drawn to it. And if you are, then the program can work out very well, no matter what your previous experience has been. It's a very intense and very uh, uh, sort of intimate experience. Uh, there's a lot of workshopping and looking very, very closely at your, your writing, your structure, your reporting, um, your sourcing, your thinking. So um, students read each other's work and provide critiques on them. Uh, they also get very intensely edited by the professors in the program. Uh, and they are meeting each week with an expert in a different field where there is sometimes a presentation, but then an enormous amount of discussion. So it's very dynamic, it's very energetic, it's often very funny. Um, there's a lot of warmth and a lot of uh, community. Uh, the students in our group, for whatever reason, tend to be a really warm, close group. Again and again, year after year, we see that. They're talking before class, they're talking out on the steps of the journalism school after class, they're getting together to study or just to relax. Uh, it becomes a really strong uh, peer group, I think, for them, and that's valuable too. Our graduates um, spend a lot of time looking very, very closely at writing and analyzing structure and scene and character and reporting and all the details you need to really make something come alive. Um, I think what's really interesting is that they learn how to bring all of those talents and skills to stories of any scale. So some people go on to write long form and they bring all of that to long form to feature writing. But some people stay working at sort of the news story scale and they still have um, the ability to do a gem-like story using all of those techniques from narrative that we've really been looking at across the year. So they, that is something that I feel our graduates leave with. They'll be much more sophisticated about reading the scientific literature, interviewing scientists, understanding how much science is a, a human project like any other human endeavor that it isn't some magical uh, set of carvings on a tablet that says this is truth, this is knowledge. It's always evolving and um, they'll understand that more from the inside having hung out here at the university and spent so much time with visiting scientists themselves. 
it will be a, um, a real part of their lives in a way that it might not have been before.